certainly flying a ship that you're you're very familiar with is important in these sort of these high level matches knowing the movement profile knowing the exact angles of the gun arcs all things that can contribute to having a a strong effective cohesive team mhm northern fjords going to be the map this is where we saw the praetorians and centurions praetorians are already pretty comfortable on this map they're warmed up on it Let's see what the trading T are bringing, though. First up, this is new. We have the Blackheart, a Pyramidium being piloted by Mean Machine. Gap Mortar forward with Banshee and Flare on the port side for a little extra hull damage. They're also bringing the Decorum, an uh, another Pyramidium being piloted by Midst a Wild Card. Hades Echidna on the front with a Banshee and Flare on port. So, two kill Pyramidians. And on the blue team, the Praetorians, we have the RAS Panda Express. It is a Pyramidian. It is a light carronade Artemis with the left side Banshee Flare Gun. Their ally is a Galleon, the RAS Mars, piloted by Jub Jub. It has left side Hades, Lumberjack, Heavy Flak, right side Double Heavy Carronade with a rear Flare Gun. Yeah, nothing, nothing too interesting there. Uh, they're running the Galleon with the defensive Carrot Ship. Which is coming in on the Blackheart. Blackheart putting a lot of damage into the Mars. But it's taking a lot of damage itself. In fact, its armor drops. Flak and Lumberjack are a little bit close to do a lot of damage. But they do bring it down to half. Decorum right now in a great position on the Mars. Hades gonna land easy. So is the Echidna. Echidna loading up quite a bit of damage. But, but the Mars the is gonna come time, out a bit okay. Penda Express has gotten the better of Blackheart with yeah. a nice ram doing a ton of damage. Are actually getting a few Artemis shots into the hole and having to disengage oh. right before they're able to get the kill. They need to face the decorum uh, before they lose their whole armor. Yeah, you know, despite how much damage the Blackheart's taken, they're going to be able to get back in this fight pretty quickly. Their balloon is doing okay. Yeah, they're burning hydrogen, trying to get back into this fight. Panda Express and Mars right now both looking pretty good on Permahole, but the Blackheart is coming in on the side of the Panda Express. The armor drops. And the mortar is a little bit late. Armor still hasn't come up, but the mortars are going wide. There we go. One lands right as the armor comes back yeah. up. So it's going to be okay. In the meantime, Mars putting the fire on the decorum. Yeah, Blackheart, they had to be very careful. They had to actually back out and rise a little bit because they didn't want to fly in, into the, the close <laughs> range side of the Mars. Uh, so a very careful positioning. Took them a few more seconds, but they did it at, still manage to get the kill as the RAS left to pursue their ally. Now, the Mars did pick up the kill. Now, they're trying to land shots on the Blackheart, but it's doing okay. Ooh, well, Balloon are, goes down. Great shots. Yeah, those were really good shots. Now, can they actually finish off the Blackheart? That's the question. Hades landing. The Balloon's going to block a little bit of it. Oh, uh, it's going to be close. Now, they're going to get out. Ooh, armor drops. Golly, that was so close. Yeah, just one more well-timed Lumberjack or Hades shot probably would have finished them off. So now the Blackheart and Decorum way in the back. Blackheart is very, very low on Permahole. Mars came out of that pretty good. And so it's one-to-one, -one, but big advantage over this to the This is going to lead... This is, this is a bad dynamic for Red Team because they're... Their close range ship is the one that's so heavily damaged, so they're gonna have to sit back and let the Hades yeah. Flak kind of in initiate the fight, or at least be very, very careful not to lose whole armor. Yeah, this this is a, definitely a rough spot for Red Team. Like the RAS Mars, they're a little damaged as well, but being a Galleon, they've they've got more health to spare. This is one of the reasons that running a long range and close range ship doesn't always meet with a lot of success because oftentimes the close range ship goes in it either goes down or takes a lot of damage and the long range ship just hangs back and does their bit but then if the close range ship has to go in again it's so damaged it also We're means there's not a lot of versatility for them to switch up roles they're despite the black heart being yeah. so heavily damaged they're they're pr pigeonholed into into the spacing into the way they need to approach each engagement like there's just not a lot of wiggle room. They have their their gap border. They have to charge into close range and t try to get a fast kill. Yeah, exactly. Now the Mars raining down damage on the decorum pretty accurately. Lumberjack doing a lot of work. 
but the decorum should be able to put a lot of damage on that panda express before they drop down too far blackheart coming in as well panda express is very exposed and these two piras want blood gat mortar going down on the panda express gatling still has not stripped the armor hades help needed but all they get all they get is a lost balloon and the black heart goes down just took too long to get the panda expresses it backed up Ooh. armor drops on the panda but the echidna goes wide after they lose the spot yeah though that was a really important light light flat clip for them for the decorum to hit missing that means they've got to retreat yeah they they have no other option but the mars the Mars's gunners over time have gotten better. We've seen it in the Sunday community skirmish. Just every week, they seem to do a little bit better. Sapphire Sage, especially like he's he's on the flak this game, and on the uh, rear engines, as opposed to the forward engines. <laughs> Yeah, it's like like a spaceship, you know, the the reverse thrusters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Panda Express a little bit farther forward, applying pressure so the Mars can get into position. It's in the clouds right now, but there are spots. And flares out. So the Lumberjack is going to be accurate. Decorum loses balloon. Blackheart shouldn't be turning around. They don't want to take this engagement. The Corms already had their balloon knocked out. They're already going to be out of the fight, but... Yeah, they're they, out. They've made their choice. Yeah, I guess so. Now they're trying to back up, but I think it's too little too late. Panda Express laying down fire. Mars, pretty accurate. Armor doesn't quite drop yet. They bounce, lose armor. Now the Decorum is joining the fight, but it's a little late. Everyone on the Blackheart is on repairs. Huge ram going into the Decorum. Throwing him back. Not doing too much damage, though. Actually helping them get their longer range gun arcs, perhaps. Yeah, kind of unfortunate. Now the Panda Express has to back up. There's a little bit of terrain in the way, slowing him down. Echidna comes out early, so the Panda Express does have a moment to get everything repaired. Echidna's quick reload speed, not going to be quick enough. Yeah, unfortunately, it looked like the Mortar on the Blackheart was down, uh, but, but now they might be able to get the kill on the Panda Express. This... Uh... Good, good, Not quite. Uh, good tanking. Uh, Lazy Panda's pilot actually running back to help to repair the harm on the Panda Express, uh, shortening the window for the explosive damage coming in. And yeah, yeah, they've managed. They've really managed to stay alive. Like there were two or three opportunities for Red Team to get the kill, and even now, they're just they're struggling. <laughs> they keep taking the whole armor down, but they're just not able to secure the final blows. God, I, the engineers must be panicking right now. And the Blackheart and Decorum want this kill, but the Blackheart has extended too far. The Mars is at perfect range. They're just in arming time, and the Flat gets Ooh. the kill. Uh, yeah. That's something, another another kind of piloting trick that you don't see a lot of people in pub games doing. It's uh, specifically on the Pyramidian. Uh, what you can do if you're retreating, especially if you're like a longer range, you have that Artemis. Uh, just set the ship in reverse, so then the pilot can go help with the whole armor. Yeah. Uh, you actually see Lazy Panda is opting to bring a spanner, and that's a, a very nice choice. And def that is probably the deciding factor that allowed them to stay stay alive in that uh, in that engagement. Just being able to rebuild it so much more quickly. Yeah, you saw one of the volleys came in right after the armor came up, so. If the armor had taken any longer, the Panda Express would probably be dead right now. The Echidna does a lot of damage, especially when it is in arming time. They do need to be careful now. They are, they've got a lot of damage on them, so they probably will need to or at least try to want the, the Mars to take point, to, to be the focus, to take soak some of that damage. But aside from that, this, this, uh, this game's going pretty well in the favor of the Praetorians so far. Yeah, three to one. Panda Express and Mars have both taken a fair bit of damage in these engagements, but the Mars is having a grand old time sniping, and it doesn't seem like the pre the um, the trading tier are really doing much about it at all. Blackheart's armor drops. Wow. That is not what you want, especially when both ships are so damaged. You should be 
deciding the terms of the engagement. Looks like Decorum's gonna peel off and try to go for Mars on their own. Yeah, maybe. They're working their way around the side. I guess they finally decided that they need to do something about the Mars, but now they're taking their good sweet time getting into position, and that's leaving the Blackheart really open. Here comes the Fleck. A little bit low. Panda Express needs to be careful about pursuing. And yeah, they're, they're gonna nah, back they're out. They're not overextending. They're, they're, not, they're not going to. They can turn if they need to. They can back up. Or they can just drop if they need instant cover. That's exactly as long what as, they'll do. As long as they don't cross that chasm to red side of the mountain, they should be fine. Yeah, they're okay. Blackheart and Decorum not going to drop down too far. They're not that desperate for an arc, but now Decorum a little bit farther ahead. And here comes the charge, potentially. Panda Express does not have easy retreat options right now. And yep, here comes the Gap Mortar, but it bumps. And so the Panda Express is granted a reprieve as the Mars comes in. It was a trap. Mars getting their guns into position. And loading up the Blackheart. Yeah, I really like what the Praetorians are doing here. They know the Panda Express is heavily damaged. They know the enemy Oof. team knows that. They're actually Black. using the Panda, the, the damaged Panda Express to bait out the Gap Mortar Pyramidian over and over, letting the Mars just kind of have free reign with their long range weapons. This is very kind of a very smart usage of you know, what would be a weakness, they're actually using it to their advantage in kind of the mind game. Yeah, kind of. Honestly, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. Flack in the face? <laughs> Again, more like. The trading team have got to figure out what's going on at this point. They got to understand that the Panda Express is going to be baiting. They got to know that the Praetorians are good enough that they're not just going to leave their Pyramidian that far out without a reason. But what do they do? I mean, do they dual focus the Galleon? If they do that, they risk the Panda Express coming up from behind and disabling them. Although, actually, the Panda... Well... Decorum... Yes. Decorum's being a little sneaky here. Uh, they got spotted. They're underneath here, but the Blackheart spawns in decently far away. It's got a fair distance to go, and the Mars is backing up and into arc. Decorum now baiting the Mars and Panda Express out, but it may have gotten a little bit too aggressive with this bait. As the Panda Express and Deco uh, Panda Express moves in on the Decorum. Charged Karenagan to help bring down that armor and the Artemis chips away the hull. It's almost down. One more will do it, and that's it. 5-1. Praetorians going on to the semifinals to face the Mad Hatters who lost against the Centurions 5-2. Winner of this next match will go on to the finals.